hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here please consider subscribing to my channel if you like this type of content and if you like the video please don't forget to uh, thumb up the video today i've got an unboxing from netaporta or Neptoporte, I think people usually pronounce it that way. It's the first time I'm buying anything from this online um, shop that curates um, many different brands. Um, so I'll go through what I've purchased with you and what I find about the shopping experience. So the first uh, is a very practical pair. Uh, item is a pair of cashmere gloves. I've actually been on a hunt for a pair of um, luxury gloves and you know I basically gave up um, trying to find a good pair um, from the major luxury brands um, and decided to just go for this uh, very practical cashmere, good quality cashmere feels like and just plain fingerless um, gloves um, one size fits all 100% cashmere so I can wash and clean it when I need to um, and fingerless because it's just I find it just so much more practical um, I do have quite short and stubby fingers so but my palm is actually quite big so having a fingerless um, I figured is probably the safest and easiest option um, so yeah I think I will put this into great use over winter to keep my hands warm They're made in Scotland um, which I believe is a very uh, good um, I guess country of origin for things like um, knitted cashmere. Now the next item is a Max Mara um, top. And I have to say, look, I'm quite disappointed. Look at this, the threads are coming off from the button and um, let me check the outer buttons as well. Yep, the same thing here on the on an outer button. Um, third one seems okay. So yeah, I don't know. Is this a returned item whereby you know someone's actually won and popped two? of the buttons and decided to just return it like that and Netaporta didn't really check it over and uh, accepted the item or did they accept the item didn't give a full refund and decided to sell the item to another customer I don't know but regardless I am not too happy with this piece um, but what can you do um, so this is made in Tunis Tunisia um, and you can hand wash it yeah look I think you know the style I like you know the material I quite like the look of it seems okay you know pretty as what you would expect uh, from a polyester type of um, buttoned shirt um, there is a bit of like kind of you know subtle um, pattern to the fabric um, but yeah just just the buttons um, yeah not really liking in the overall finishing now I know Max Mara has different lines and this is the leisure line which I believe is of a I guess uh, a more affordable uh, line um, of their range of products but still like you know this is not something I was expecting from a brand such as Max Mara uh, but again you know it's hard to know with these online store whether you know the products initially are like this originally like this or is it because of people returning uh, products after you know destroying it and sort of did a botch job themselves to put the buttons together and pass the refund check process so they get a refund I don't know but suffice to say I 
would probably need to do some work on this myself you know stitch it up myself I could return it but to be honest the return process you know just just by the time I you know do all that I might as well just stitch the button myself um, and I guess I've learned a lesson about buying um, items garments uh, online and perhaps yeah I might not um, might not uh, buy another product from Max Mara leisure line um, or at least not online until I actually check it in store first so yeah look not very happy but again you know part of the risk you take on when buying online clothing next one is from a brand called page um, and it's a denim wear uh, it's a simple denim buttoned um, down button down shirt I don't have any denim sh top um, and so I decided to give this a try and look in comparison to Max Mara this is actually much better made guys like you know um, the buttons are concealed with an extra layer of fabric um, which you know just added I guess the um, craftsmanship that's required in the piece you know the buttons are all very well um, stitched in and this is more of a boxy um, style and look the thickness of the button is quite um, substantial so it doesn't look like a flimsy button um, I was told uh, by I can't remember um, but you know various I guess influencers and youtubers uh, who talk about fashion um, quality of garments and things like that you know how to look for good quality um, the the buttons you can really tell um, you know how well the garment or how good the materials are, are, are used um, you know the quality of the materials being used so good buttons mean generally overall good uh, quality um, now this next one is a very uh, light shade of blue um, a knitwear by Theory uh, the brand I have actually checked this brand out in store before but never made a purchase um, but yeah no, I quite like this color I don't have this color of knitwear and I like how it's got the subtle stripes um, knitted into uh, the top um, so it's a combination of wool uh, and uh, other materials very soft combination of wool cotton and some uh, cashmere as well that's why it's so soft to touch and yeah look um, it's a uh, it's I wouldn't say it's cropped in terms of length but it sh it's certainly on the shorter side and um, it says do not wash and I've noticed this on every single garment by this brand um, so I think it's just over you know been on the side of or on the side of caution that they put it like that so people can't go back and tell them their product is defective when they've washed it in the washing machine and ruined it um, I mean you know with the materials I think it should be okay when if it's hand washed I will give it a try when I need to clean it um, but yeah look um, yeah, bought it because of the color and um, the pattern I don't have a patterned knitwear um, in wool cashmere at the moment so yeah adding to my collection and uh, this other one is also by Paige uh, again denim um, is a pair of jeans um, and uh, the brand I guess the style is Harper it's called Harper um, and yeah it's um, turn you can wash it uh, although I would probably make sure when I wash it I'll be careful to with um, color run run out um, because 
I mean, it seems okay, but just with the light blue color of the tags, um, I mean, whether it's originally already light blue or it's actually from color transfer, uh, which usually means when you put it in a washing machine, all the water will just be blue and it will dye any f other clothing that's washed together. So yeah, this one I'll probably need to be careful when I wash it. Um, yeah, so vintage collection, this one, it pays tribute to vintage denim. And yeah, I love the um, style of these jeans. It's actually a pair of wide leg jeans which I don't have. A bit different from my other denim jeans. Um, I only have another pair of blue denim jeans that's in sort of a slim cut um, but I like how this one is like a cargo almost like a cargo um, style. You've got pockets on the side. Um, and wide leg here. Uh, I think I definitely need to take this to uh, alteration because yeah I'll be you know stepping at the, the length is too long um, so yeah definitely need to take it to the tailor um, and that's all the garments I bought so yeah packaging from Netta Porter is very simple just a cardboard box with tissue paper in there so here I am uh, showing some mock shots after I've sterilized uh, the clothing with a steamer and removed all the tags um, so the denim shirt I've just styled it with an Hermes Twilly as a belt actually I just thought this um, sort of elevates uh, the casual look of the denim um, it's just one way of wearing it I suppose um, and you can also uh, wear the denim shirt as a um, coat um, but yeah look I think um, definitely having the waist uh, cinched in either by tucking the shirt inside the pants um, or sort of belting it I find just brings the silhouette better for my figure um, so yeah I'm the type of um, girl that's always kind of yeah have either shirts tucked in um, or have it belted so yeah look I definitely uh, am liking this denim shirt I don't have a denim shirt at all um, I think the last time I had a denim shirt was when I was in my teenager age so yeah a long time ago um, so I've just got a simple white tee in uh, an underneath and I'm styling it uh, as a uh, sort of a jacket um, yeah so I think that's a quite versatile piece you can use it as a shirt or you can use it as a little denim um, outerwear uh, yeah and I like the um, sleeve um, you can easily just undo the button and roll it up for more of a casual uh, cool look what do you guys think um, how do you style your denim button down shirt if you have one um, do you think it's a versatile piece if you would like to share your thoughts on this uh, please comment down below I'll be interested to hear how you guys uh, style denim button down shirt here just a bit of a different look um, with the pants being more of a dressier um, tailored pants as opposed to um, another pair of uh, black jeans so yeah it just makes the um, office look a little bit more casual and stylish um, next is my theory sweater uh, very soft sweater and yeah look I'm just styling it with a pair of wide leg uh, black pants and here is with a pair of white jeans 
I just love how uh, the drop length of the sleeve on me. I do have quite a um, long pair of arms disproportionate to the length of my torso actually. So here is my Max Mara top. I fixed up the buttons there myself. Um, and so yeah, you can see the subtle um, pattern of the material, a bit more of a scrunched up look. Um, yeah, look, I think I quite like the silhouette of the piece. Um, but, you know, as I've mentioned previously, I think the craftsmanship of it could be better. And here is my um, page uh, high-waisted wide leg jeans that's back from tailoring after shortening the length uh, what do you guys think i quite like i quite like this silhouette of this it's a nice color and i like how you've got the um, side pockets very functional as well as decorative um, yeah just a very different style of jeans compared with my mostly slim leg style um, and also I think all my other jeans are mid-waisted so this is my first um, pair of high-waisted jeans um, what do you think let me know what you think um, do you like my purchases do you think they are versatile functional pieces in a everyday wardrobe have you purchased from Netta Porter before and what do you what has your experiences been? I'll be interested uh, to hear. Uh, please comment down below and if you like this video please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel uh, so that you will be notified of upcoming new videos. Um, until next time you all take care. Bye.